referring to when a spouse is asking questions. If you are one of those spouses or partners who asks lots of questions, well, why this? Why that? Well, what were you thinking? Whoa, 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 whoa. I want you to, I want you to understand that you are setting yourself up for disappointment. There's a place, a time and a place for why questions. There's a, there's a time and a place and a way to do that. When you're in your limbic system and you're triggered and your partner's overwhelmed and you know, the, the cycle of conflict is up and running, your why questions are defeating your own goal and reinforcing your own trauma. You are reinforcing your own trauma with all those why questions because there is no good what the questions serve to do is it feels in the moment like you are putting your pain out there. All this pain in here, by throwing it out as a why question, you're putting it all out there. Like you're getting it out on him, putting it on him. But the truth is that you're pushing further away and there is no good answer to the questions. There is no good why. Why did you cheat on me? There's no good answer to that. Now, later you can have a conversation about, have you examined what led to this? Have you learned from this? Have you under, understood where the trappings were, where the temptations were? I'm, that's productive. I'm talking about the heated in the moment because the other person, they know when they're on the receiving end of those questions, they know there's no good answer. And then even when they try to, when those answers aren't satisfying, they then think, I can't do it right. There's nothing I can do right. And they're going to withdraw further and further and further and further and further away.